Hello, and welcome to a VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is January 5th. Uh, a Thursday, and today we're going to talk about an interesting thing. So um, I, I often I sign up for updates, you know, like when when articles come out revolving around certain things. One of the things I I always look at is AI voiced things and what's happening with AI voice. And uh, so a recent article just came out today on the from the Guardian uh, called "Death of the Narrator: Apple Unveils Suite of AI Voiced Audiobooks." So, of course, you can imagine what the article is going to be about. Uh, Apple un, um, put out a, uh, a whole bunch of audiobooks that basically it sounds to me, because I listened to about 15 or so different books, you know, the first five minutes or so of them, and it sounds like it's two different two different voices. It's a male and a female. And uh, they're the same voice for each, you know, book, uh, you know, whether it's a male or female, but it's it's the same male or female. And, um, you know, they they have uh, had them narrate, you know, the, the AI voices a whole bunch of books. I haven't seen how many books there are because there's a bunch. But, you know, uh, at first glance, I mean, it, it sounds pretty good. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I, I'm I'm definitely surprised by how decent it sounds on these. I, I've, I've listened to a bunch of them. It really breaks down when it gets into the the voices, like dialogue. It, it Some of the dialogue sounds very um, robotic. Uh, and, and that, you know, when it when it goes into from, you know, just narrating when they're narrating a story. It sounds pretty good in one tone in timber, you know, and I think that's something that now I, I hadn't I have not purchased any of the, the books that Apple unveiled. And I don't know how well the narrator, the AI, um, the AI uh, narrates over the course of a story. You know, part of something that makes us special and people special is that, you know, we bring an unpredictable nature and a growth to telling a story. Right. And AI has had it very difficult to program that unpredictability, that creative nature to what how we narrate stories. And I always thought in long form also, you know, over time, it's going to be like it's the same, like it never changes. Now, again, I didn't purchase any of the books to see if it changed over time and how the narration is. But, you know, it's going to be a stiff competitor. And I think that in the end, what it will do to us. It will not. I. It will not destroy the death. It will not be a death of a narrator. Um, but what it will do is it will drive prices down. You know that will be some things that again it will it'll, it'll hit price points, and it will be a, a, a demand for us to be better. You know, for us to continue working on our craft and to be that much better. And I would point out that it does make me think, too, because, you know, all of this is about, again, tools for the author. I've always been a big advocate and excited about also being an author, like owning the rights to books or, um, you know, uh, tangible assets that we can also own the rights to not just our voiceover work, but also, you know, written work or, you know, things like that. Uh, I do think that there is room here. And I do think that if we play our cards right, you know what I mean? Because here's the thing. Apple had to. I mean, they they must have had these two voice actors, uh, this man and woman. They must have had them do hundreds of thousands of lines. When you listen to go to books, if you have an iPhone or whatever, iBooks, you go to your books and type in AI narration and it will show you that. Um, and uh, but, you know, they, they must have had, you know, something uh, like hundreds of thousands of words. These voice actors did. I mean, they must have. They must have really had them. And I hope. I hope that the voice actors who did these, that they were smart enough to say, listen, we, we will go ahead and do this if you give us a percentage, you know, if you pay us per book sale. Right. I mean, like, I think that I mean, like, I hope I hope that they did that. Right. Because then it makes sense because I'm all for that. I would I would love I'll give a hundred I'll give hundreds of thousands of, of, of lines and words if right. I get a percentage, 
you know, if I just like, you know, when we do a narration, we do royalty share. If we share some sort of royalties, I would be more than happy to do that. Pump out my voice as much as you want. <laughs> I'm bringing them up. I'm fine with it as long as I get the royalty share. I just hope that these voice actors, of course, it doesn't talk anything about that here because they don't know. And I haven't uh, like kind of dove any deeper into who are these these people were because it just says on you know if you go to the app and you you pick up one of these it says narrated by apple books and then it says narrated by apple books the audiobook feature is madison a digital voice based on a human narrator all right so again you know what i mean i hope that that narrator really got a good deal like they they got something like a a, a, a royalty for it right because, you know, they're using like there's there's some of these people because they're using their voices over and over and over again. So I, I, I would I, and, and but but this is why training now is more important than ever. Right. Getting better, getting really good at storytelling. OK, um, being able because, like I said, um, throughout it, the, it really broke down as some of the things I listened to when it went into dialogue. The dialogue was was really it sounded like really bad. AI, like a robot talking, because, you know, how, how does the computer know, you know, what different character to make their voice sound like? Do you know what I mean? And I think that's going to be something that now I didn't listen to to it past the first five minutes of a couple of them, you know what I mean? And but the ones I did listen to, it wasn't very good at all. But generally speaking, it's not bad, which means I do think people would purchase it, especially if they if if. If Apple goes to a place, now this is just Apple, it's not Amazon, but we know Amazon and Google have been messing around with this as well. And Amazon has released an Amazon AI voice, but you know, it hasn't gone mainstream. I think the important thing here is, is that, you know, what will the market do? And also will a, like they, you know, it's it, because what I was saying, like will Apple or Amazon down the road or whatever, will they mix you know what I mean? Like, will you know who is who is who? And I think that's the that's where the challenge comes in, right? Because it says narrated by Apple Books. You have to click on a link, and then it says Feet Madison, a digital voice based on a human narrator. So, you know, are they gonna either if they continue to do that, is it going to so it does say narrated by Apple Books, not narrated by a person. So I do think as time goes on, our brand who we are will become more important than ever, right? Like our voice, our brand, that tie, that that what goes together with our whole, um, yeah, our whole brand will matter more than 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 a lot because you know people will search for certain things. But I do believe also that owning the rights to these things because you know they're not talking about it will be. I mean, when will the time come when uh, you know the AI will write books? Right. I mean, we're we're extremely close with chat GPT and where where you could start getting in here and really writing things. I mean, you know, I've been messing around with that. I mean, that that saw that AI content creator software is unreal because you're chatting with it. Right. It uses chat. It uses GPT three software or, or GPT three programming, which was used, which is used for like Jasper AI and everything. But it's gone to the next level to where you chat with it. And basically, you're like, hey, can you write me this or can you do this? And it will. And then you and then you can have a conversation with it and saying, hey, can you do this? Write it like this. What do you think about this? I mean, it's it's incredible. And none of the stuff that does is plagiarized. I mean, it's really intriguing. You can ask it to write like certain things, you know, you know, you, you know, I mean, like write like certain people sound. I mean, like it's it's unbelievable uh, what's happening. The key for us is to use these things and to be aware of them and to always, you know, make sure that we're saying, hey, you know, we are real. This is what we do. This is who we are. And your training now is more important than ever so that you can become, you know, the very best storyteller that you can be. Now, short form and everything, I can't see this being form a short form just because, you know, again, it's such a mass quantity of work that we do. And the the, cha- the, the thing that, that the humans can do um, that they just can't really, I mean, they can't recreate right now is, again, that unpredictable nature of all of the different types of work and the speed. It still is actually faster and cheaper to use a real a human than to use an AI in a lot of places because, 
you know, I've I've looked you know, I've looked at some of the software. I've talked to people. You know, you you have to pro. You, you know, it's not just you type something in and it speaks. You know, you've got to you know you've got to tell it to do what a human does, right? Like you know, now when the time comes when it does when when it turns into something like Chat GPT, where you'll be able to say, hey, I want this voice to do this. You're you're telling it what to do. You know what I mean? And I want it to be. Um, you know, excited and also wanted to show uh, some emotion at this point and, and things and you can type that in. I mean, that'll be really that'll be pretty crazy. But again, again, it is OK. This is a massive competitor, but it's a competitor. It's not going to, um, you know, cancel the you know people doing voiceovers. It's just a massive competitor. And which means that, you know, it can also launch a whole slew of new things, you know what I mean? And all kinds of different types of, you know, person generated, you know, when, when we, we might have to go and do all kinds of things. I don't know what the future is, but all I do know is that this will, it, it will never cancel human beings doing voiceover, no matter how much AI stuff is out there. It'll be a big competitor, and, it, and, you know, and it, it will, you know, we will fight against this competitor, but it will never stop. I mean, people, you know, it'll never stop it. It'll just be something that we've got to fight against and things that we'll have to be creative in how we get business. But check this out. It's, it is interesting. Um, and again, I don't, after listening to it, I wouldn't, in, you can tell, you, you can tell after a couple of minutes that it's an AI just because, you know, I think it still has, uh, again, that growth that it's not really doing, but it's still decent. So, you know, it's something for us to pay attention to. But again, it's every reason why we need to keep working on our craft, getting better at voiceover, getting better at business. OK, so thank you guys so much for listening. I just wanted to share that with you. Check out the link below. Listen, join Vio's Journey Elite Academy. I really think now more than ever, your training, your growing, understanding the industry, being with other professionals to where we can work together is is bigger than ever. OK, so let me know what you think. Uh, post your comments below. And um, thank you guys for watching it as always hit that like and subscribe button i will talk to you tomorrow all right everybody bye bye